now talk more about paper quality. We're going to do this example, which is very interesting. So imagine that we want uh, what will be the specific volume of that mixture, the mixture we saw in the previous video. By definition, you will have the total amount of volume is, of course, the volume of the liquid plus the volume of the gas. Hopefully, you get along with me. So let's do some math. It's a little bit, mm, I don't know, tricky because we are forcing some units in order to get a equation, which will be this one right here. Okay, so let's force that equation. First things first, I told you total volume equals the volume of that liquid and the volume of that gas. So let's do this. You know, by definition, any type of volume is the mass times the specific volume of that. For example, you have the mass of that liquid times the specific volume of that liquid plus the mass of that gas and the specific volume of that gas, which is here essentially. We're doing this to all of that. Total mass times the specific uh, volume of that mixture. Just to let you know, of course, since this is a mixture, the specific volume of that liquid will be way lower than that of the mixture here, which is the total. And that one of the gas is, of course, the greatest. And then what else do we have here? Okay, so we have this total mass, mass of liquid, mass of gas. You know that if I had total mass equals mass of liquid plus mass of gas, and if I want to leave alone this here, then I will need to send this subtracting. Once it's done, we have that. And I'm going to substitute it here. Liquid, mass of liquid is here. So by right now, I already get rid of that equation. Now let me divide in this equation with this guy here, which is total amount of mass. I'm going to get rid of this. So that's why I get this value here. I'm going to divide this little fraction here and total amount of gas divided by total amount of mixture is here. Now, let me do this here, it's one, and this here it will be mg divided by total mass is of course quality or vapor quality. So I got this one minus x and this will be x, okay? I have total amount of volume, a specific volume is here, now remember I had, sorry about that, I had this, so let me multiply 1 times this and minus x times this. We have it here. 1 times this stays the same and minus x times this will of course remain as this. So we have something similar. We, are, we have a specific volume of gas, we have specific volume of liquids, liquids, gas, and we have vapor quality. What else can we do? Well, let's get these two terms together, we have these right here. And I don't know why, but it's pretty useful, maybe because of that, but in thermodynamics we use a lot this value, which is the difference of that property of the gas minus the difference of that property of the liquid. Maybe because it's f way faster, and actually there are many tables that include this value, sometimes you even don't have the liquid one, and you, have, you do have this gas one, and they give you the difference, so you will need to do some math. And we call this a specific volume of LG, or many times Fe, F because fluid, because, well, liquid is a fluid, but I prefer using LG. Look here, F, once again, F, maybe exchange with liquid. Now you get this new variable from this. And I think it's very useful, you have total volume of that mixture, is essentially the volume of that liquid, which makes sense, plus the vapor quality of the difference of that property. Remember always the properties of gas are first or positive, the difference will be that of the liquid. This one you may choose it, which will give you of course the specific volume of the total mixture, or if you're looking for a quality, which is also the case, uh, let's say you have, you know that at that pressure and temperature, you have that specific volume, that specific volume, 
and this specific volume. If you have everything, you can actually just go and calculate the vapor uh, quality of that mixture. And yeah, these are equation, whatever you want to use, this one or this one. And not only that, guys, we can do the same uh, theoretical concepts for other functions, such as internal energy. You have the total, because it's the same logic. You have internal energy of the liquid and that of the gas. You have this tank here. You have liquid and if you have the gas here well of course the addition the total addition of the system is the internal energy of the liquid and that of the gas and not only for internal energy you know enthalpy is a very let's say internal energy and enthalpy are very commonly used you may use that as well and you will see later that this is true as well for entropy and we already proved that for vapor. So you may use these equations as well for any vapor quality. Internal energy, enthalpy, entropy, and of course a specific volume which we already proved. Uh, you can see always this guy right here is that of the liquid. You need to always include the vapor quality of course and you need to include the difference. So let me, one second. So this is very tricky. If you have x equals zero, what does that mean? That means that this is a liquid. So this will go out and you will get that the internal energy of that mixture, which technically speaking is not a mixture, it's liquid, will be that internal energy of the fluid, of course. And if x equals one, you will get uf minus ufg. And what is uf? G essentially is UF minus that of the gas minus that of the wait, wait, so, uh, yes minus that of the where is it fluid. Doing this math, you will see that uh, liquid and liquid cancels, and you get only that of the gas, which makes a lot of sense because if X equals one means you have a complete uh, let's say mixture of vapor, or that mixture is 100% vapor. So that's essentially everything guys, uh, next video we're going to talk about vapor tables. What's up guys, it's me Chemical Engineering Guy, so if you like the video why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.